This is a presenta presentation about deep soft procrusts for markerless volumetric sensor alignment. Volumetric video is an emerging multimedia category, which grants, to its consumers, the control over the position and orientation of their viewpoint, which in turn can be viewed on a classical 2D display, 3D display or even Arkansas VR Googles. Volumetric video is the logical next step after stereoscopic movies and 360 degrees videos, in that it combines the visual quality of photography with the immersion and interactivity of spatialized content, and could prove to be the most important development in the recording of human performance since the creation of contemporary cinema. Its production though requires specialized systems that are suitable for multi-view captures, i.e. volumetric capture. An example of such system is Panoptic Studio, which consists of over 100 RGB IR cameras, 10 RGBD cameras. This system is at the cutting edge of the volumetric capture technology, despite the fact that it is expensive to build, complex to assembly and non-portable. Another example is the Holoportation system, which uses its own custom setup of two IR cameras to produce depth maps, along with accompanied RGB sensors. Despite the impressive and high fidelity results of their 3D reconstruction, this system as well is expensive and complex to build and hard to move around. Recently, lower cost alternatives are being developed like LiveScan 3D or the VCL volumetric capture system. These are lower cost, more flexible and portable multi-sensor systems for facile volumetric capture with no constraints on the number of cameras, supporting RS2 and Kinect Azure, with its cost and complexity being low. Regardless of the number and type of sensors or application, all these systems require multi-sensor spatial alignment, which is an enabling feature for volumetric capture, in order to use fuse all acquired data into a common global coordinate system. Further, volumetric capture systems are also lately used in various productions by artists that do not possess technical knowledge. However, most multi-sensor calibration systems require the involvement of the user and thus necessitate an understanding of the underlying process. Our goal is to move towards a calibration technology that is characterized by usability, portability, and cost efficiency. Some classical methods for multisensory spatial calibration are based on known colored markers for correspondence establishment, exploiting either their a priori known physical dimensions, such as checkerboard, or others using complementary depth information to acquire a physical world understanding, if present. Despite the fact these methods are robust under varying lighting conditions, they require heavy human involvement, necessitating multiple moving object captures, checkerboard. This means that users need to know how to avoid ineffective or problematic poses. Other approaches rely on landmark to marker correspondences that require users to precisely place markers. Either way, using such methods increases the complexity of the calibration process, especially when there are sensor viewpoints with no overlapping regions, such as a classical inwards-looking 360 setup. Taking a step towards improving the process, recent approaches exploit known three-dimensional structures. Yet, the key idea is the same, finding markers that are carefully placed on specific locations of the structure. Examples include the toilet structure, which is used to calibrate a system of over 100 RGB and IR sensors. A structure assembled out of packing boxes with two QR codes attached per box site at specific places, in order to estimate correspondences through the texture map. Or instead, as used by the LiveScan 3D system, the use of markers attached on the structure. An important advantage of these methods is that they overcome multi-view pairwise error accumulation, since the initial poses are not established on an interview scheme, but instead, with the same anchor, the structure. Their main drawbacks though is requirement of assembling the structure and its virtual counterpart, albeit this is only done once, while also attaching precisely markers to the correct sides, at correct positions, a process that makes the whole procedure time costly and error prone. Finally, more recently, a novel approach utilized the structure itself only as a volumetric marker. Based solely on the 3D geometry we can achieve markerless calibration. The original work of Papakristou et al. Introduced an asymmetric structure in order to calibrate multiple sensors using only depth data. They trained a deep convolutional neural network to segment and identify the sides of the structure and later compute their 3D middle point using it as a 3D to 3D correspondence. While human intervention was minimized, a serious drawback was the limitation of strictly diagonal views and the support of only four viewpoints. 
In this work we overcome this limitation and develop a volumetric sensor alignment method that is simple to use, portable, and cost-efficient. Similar to previous works we use a low-cost asymmetric structure assembled with four standard packaging boxes which are commercially available. We use only its physical geometric representation as our volumetric marker that will be used to anchor all sensor viewpoints onto it. We first created a virtual model of the structure out of four cuboids and annotated each cuboid sides, a procedure which is only required to be done once. The workflow of our calibration pipeline comprises five discrete steps. We first capture a depth map per sensor viewpoint and feed it to our somatic segmentation model that estimates each box's sides. Then, we estimate the centroids of the predicted box sides which serve as our correspondences and finally compute its pose with respect to the global coordinate system as defined by the structure using Procrist's analysis. Our model is end-to-end -end trainable with virtual data and employs both classification and regression losses. Our training data comprise synthetic views of the box, augmented with noise and random backgrounds, in order to make these inputs as realistic as possible. These are complemented by ground truth segmentation labels which are used to train our deep convolutional network. We supervise our model with a cross-entropy loss and a soft Procrist's analysis that enables a differentiable regression loss on the correspondences through the predicted segmentation map. The first step in our training pipeline is to generate poses of virtual cameras that will serve as viewpoint in the dataset generation. To this end, we uniformly sample the volume around the center of the structure and compute the camera orientation so that they will be pointing to the center of the structure with some uncertainty controlled by uniform sampling around the center. We then render the virtual model of the box from each pose that, in addition to the depth map, also provides a dense per pixel label map, which will be serving as ground truth. These rendered depth maps are nearly perfect, contain no noise, and are thus unrealistic samples, given that we need to deploy our model in real-world, acquired noisy depth input. As a result, we first augment these depth maps with random holes, which are present in both stereo and time-of-flight sensors, due to untextured areas and absorptive or reflective materials respectively. To add an extra layer of realism in our data, we also augment these depth maps with the two types of noise, unmodeled for stereo cameras and one for time-of-flight depth sensors. Then we perform domain randomization by compositing our render on random backgrounds, selected from publicly available datasets or random distributions. Finally, we erode the border of the box's edges, a common systematic error in raw sensor, acquired depth maps. Through this data generation pipeline, we manage to synthesize data on the fly that are more realistic, closing the synthetic to real gap as much as possible, but that also contain the necessary randomization to improve the generalization of our model. For our model, we use a UNet-like deep convolutional network with skip connections and a self-attention mechanism to speed up the convergence of the network, which is guided by the ground truth mask produced at the data generation step. Our goal is to support facile multi-sensor alignment, and for that we need robustness and consistency in terms of sensor placements. In order to consistently predict semantic maps across a variety we supplement the traditional classification loss with a geometric loss that is derived from the semantic labels in a soft differentiable manner. In this way, our model seeks to estimate precise and accurate segmentations that will lead to correct key point correspondences and will not suffer from performance deterioration in smaller scales or problematic viewpoints. Starting from the light blue tensor P containing each of the K class's probabilities and the gray vertices tensor V obtained by deprojecting the input depth map, we establish soft correspondences as follows. We first multiply the tensors P and V and reduce the result with a mean operation across the spatial dimensions, resulting to the orange tensor containing the soft correspondences 3D coordinates. After masking with the ground truth labels and performing a SVD operation, the remaining correspondences in the yellow tensor are now aligned, and any error function between them can be back-propagated to the semantic segmentation network. Our model estimates accurate segmentations on real data, as captured by Intel RealSense D415 device. And does not lose performance in other sensor types like the Kinect Azure, exhibiting a sensor agnostic behavior. For a quantitative comparison against another marker-based method, we attached unique Aruko markers at the center of each side of the structure detected them and sampled the depth map at the located pixels, acquiring in that way the centers of shown sides and applying the Procrist's analysis to estimate the camera poses. Using the same data, we computed the camera poses using our proposed method 
and refine both results using a graph optimization procedure. We see the results of the calibration methods with error color coded. Specifically, color colors indicate small distance from the calibrated point cloud to the calibration structure, and warmer ones indicate big errors. Our method, at the top row, seems to have overall smaller error across the whole calibration structure, with the marker based method failing to calibrate the views correctly and failing at the bottom boxes. Another example with two different configurations, one per row, of four cameras. In the first row we see that all methods produced acceptable, with the marker-based outperforming every each of the other two. Second row shows a bit of different camera configuration that resulted in worse marker-based calibration than ours, and the marker-less one failed completely. This experiment showcases and supports our argument of that our calibration system is robust. In conclusion we present a calibration method that has no restrictions on number of sensors, requires minimum user involvement, is low cost and sensor agnostic, achieves same or better results with similar methods, overcoming their drawbacks.